Hello everyone and welcome to my updated video on how to build a Western Digital Lifeguard Diagnostics for DOS ISO file. So let's begin. First we're going to create two new empty folders. Now we're going to hit the internet and go to the free DOS website. FreeDOS.org. Here we're going to click on the link. Scroll down a little bit to download. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the floppy edition zip. We're going to save this to our desktop. And there it is. I'm going to move that to the first new folder that I created. Open that up. Extract it. We don't need these. Or this. Now let's move over to Western Digital's website. Here we're going to go to the support. And over here we're going to go to get product support. Here we're going to select Warranty Replacement Creation. Hit Enter. Here we're going to Product Support. And we're going to go down to Legacy Products. We're going after the internal drives. Here we got a few to select from. It really doesn't matter which one you select. The software is the same for all of them. So I'm just going to click on blue. Now I'm going to go down and click on download Data Lifeguard Diagnostics for DOS just hit the plus there's the download save that to your desktop now I'm going to move that into the second folder We're 
extract this. We don't need this. And this file here I'm going to rename by adding a number. Now I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to open Ultra ISO. We're going to open. Go to our desktop. Go to the first folder that we put uh, free DOS files in. Now we're going to select the boot. Here we're going to pull a few files off of here that we need. The kernel. Minimize this and go to bin. Command.com. And now we're going to go out here on our desktop. Right click and go to new. Click on text document. Open that up. Here we're going to hold down the shift key and push number two for at echo space off. Hit enter. Now I'm going to paste that copied name that I copied earlier into here. Now, we're going to save it. Here I'm going to save it as auto-execute. A-U-T-O-E-X-E-C dot bat. And there it is. Now we got our three files that we need from here. So I'm going to go up here to the top and delete everything out of here. Now I'm going to take all three of these and drag them in there. And go to the second folder where the Western Digital files are at. And drag all three of those in there. Now save this. This is just a boot image we've just created, so I'm just going to save it as floppy. Close that out. And now there's our floppy image. Now I'm going to reopen Ultra ISO. And now I'm going to go to the folder where all the Western Digital files are at. I'm going to take all these and drag them in here. And now we're going to load our boot file. Go to this folder here where I saved it. Select it. Here we are. Now, we're going to save this. Here I'm just going to save it as Western Digital Corporation WDC space 5.27 
which is the version flash drive. This can be used on XBoot, a variety of uh, multi-boot programs. In this case I'm going to use Yummy. I'm going to scroll all the way down to Try unlisted ISO grub partition four. Go after our M our ISO file. Select that. Hit create. Now we're ready to go. Now a few things I'd like to point out in your BIOS I had a problem with as you can see it's in HCI mode but it's also in SATA mode. I had to select SATA to IDE mode. Another one it works on is native IDE and another effect it had was the G SATA section, which is in HCI mode, that had to be selected to IDE mode. Hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.